What is up everybody? Guru finally back here. I took some time off since my last video. I uh the holidays rolled in and then I went on a uh, bit of a roundabout everywhere seeing family and then the cold front came through and just did not want to get out and film videos. Uh but I'm back. I have a new camera set up thanks to my dad. I'm shooting on a GoPro now. Uh do not have a dedicated mic yet so I'm sorry if it gets any background noise um, anyway uh, I just wanted to start up back filming videos with the new not quite new Cascadia 12s um, it is what I wore for the whole or not actually for the whole through, through hike I started out in ultras um, the ultra lone peaks they were just not for me for the AT. I think it's just because they don't have a rock guard and I started in Maine. So uh, I think they would have been great starting the trail in Georgia, but uh, going the other way, I think you really need a rock guard in Maine, probably Pennsylvania to New Hampshire. Um, anyway, these shoes did great on the AT. Uh, I actually put 1,100 miles at the low end. I think it was closer to 12. Uh, on this one pair of shoes, I went through two pair of Cascadias on the trail, um, but these held up, the uppers held up so nicely, uh, for a shoe with 1,100 miles, over half the AT, these have done amazingly. Uh, I probably could have worn the whole AT, but I realized way too late that the cushion, uh, went shot probably around 500 miles as most trail runners only last about 500 miles um the cushions uh go out right around then and so when i got to 1100 miles i've been walking on shot cushion for 500 miles i ended up with uh stress fractures in both my feet so i'm just now finally healing up about two months after i finished the at uh to be out hiking again um, so I will be good to go for the PCT, um, but yeah, so, as you can see, for a shoe with 1,100 miles, it looks amazing. Uh, the lip, pretty much any trail runner you get, the lip of the shoe is going to come off, just glue it back on. Um, I've seen people, uh, just starting out that that's a huge complaint for them, that the lip starts coming off it's going to come off if you're doing any type of uh, time on trail. Uh, as you can see, the tread, there is no tread left on this. Uh, the outside has the a bit of the stubs. The, that was actually one of my favorite things about these shoes was the tread, and it lasted. That's 1,100 miles worth of walking on. You can see a lot of the middle still there. But going from the ultras to these, just how these grip rocks so much better and have protection against the rocks too with the rock guard. Um, uh, once I got these on, I was not going to switch back to anything else while I was on the trail. Uh, but again, as you can see, the uppers for a pair of shoes with 1,100 miles, uh, they look amazing. Like... The back here, that's what I use to keep my gaiters on. Um, but, yeah, th there is not a lot I can say bad about this shoe. Uh, I would go ahead and get a different insole. I've already taken the one out of this one um, and used uh, Super Feet for the whole trail. Uh, I would always recommend, if you're going to be hiking a lot, put in a pair of in uh, quality insoles. Um, but, yeah, this shoe turned out to be pretty bomb proof uh to the point where <laughs> uh i ended up overdoing it i would be cautious to say uh that you should should wear a shoe the whole trip because or the same shoe uh just because the cushion is going to go out i know people like to duct tape their shoes and say that they hiked so many miles in the shoe or whatever um, I know people that have done the whole trail in the same pair of shoes, but uh, that's just not going to be great for your feet, uh, as I learned from personal experience. Um, but yeah, you could easily hike the whole trail in this shoe, I just don't recommend it. Um, I would say you'd probably need two, or 
probably three to four pair of these for the AT. Just change them out around five or six hundred miles. Um, yeah, I think I've uh, shown most of what you get out of this shoe. I heard a lot of people complain about the Cascadia 10 and 11s. Um, I've heard no complaints out of the 12s. They reverted back to uh, awesome like quality design to their shoe and uh, one that's held up amazingly. I actually switched over in Virginia to a new pair of these uh, to hike the rest of the way out. Um, and those ones also held up. I still have those, um, but these are the ones that went the distance with me. I actually don't have the other pair, uh, the matching shoe to this, because I set them out to, uh, get a little aired out after 1,100 miles of stank. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, Creature of the Night, I think, enjoyed that aroma and went, off with one of, or the other, one of these shoes, uh, but yeah, so, anyway, Brooks Cascadia 12s, awesome shoe, uh, I think I've covered all of the extra details on it, the cushion, the rock guard, uh, don't let it wear out on you, um, the tongue is actually finally longer from the 10 and 11s, the older versions, uh, they had shortened the tongue and it felt weird on the foot. Um, they actually added this little extra piece to keep the laces uh, where they need to be because in the 11s I think the shoot tongue seemed to move around a bit and that kept it pretty snug. Uh, the back plate keeps the heel in really well. Um, the front actually works as a great rock guard. I kicked plenty of rocks hiking the whole AT, and this front rubber is actually pretty tough going up against rocks. Don't go just kicking rocks, but um, it worked really well for me. Uh, yeah, so hopefully I've covered most of the shoe. It was great. I highly recommend the Cascadias if you are going to be hiking the AT. You don't want anything that is waterproof. You don't... you. For the AT, you want something that just breathes, and uh, because you're going to be wet so long, you want something that'll dry out. So, a uh, good trail runner is a great option. Just make sure you, as I would like to reiterate, change out your shoes every 500 miles. Um, but yeah, these held up amazingly. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's probably about it. Hopefully... Um, I can crank out a few more videos for you guys soon, um, get that audio working a little bit better, uh, but yeah, I think that's about it for now. If you don't mind leaving a like or subscribe down below, that would help me a ton. Um, if you don't mind watching my other videos, I have a whole, uh, I did videos every day on the AT, um, and I'm starting to do reviews. I just did a review on my Exos backpack from Osprey not too long ago, and it's right down, let's say, here. Um, so yeah, hopefully everybody is doing well back home, and if you don't mind giving that a watch, please do. Alright, bye guys.